that last stream just because uh, I got I was doing this once before. I had TV on, and I think it was the news, but I'm not 100% sure. And, uh, oh, yeah, I... Uh, these things will eventually be gone. I need the I needed these, and I'm not done with the roof yet, but I needed these to get up here. So I'm just going to leave them for right now. But I finally got the... Uh, I got the animals in here. And, uh... Um, I, uh, I want to do a little talk, and this is something I just thought of now. Over the weekend, um... You know, I still have a home to live in right now. Over the weekend... We were watching, and it was on one of the channels with commercials. I have no idea. I can't tell you off the top of my head which one it was. But uh, we were watching the original uh, Jurassic Park, you know, the very first one. I, I, I don't even think I bought that one. If I did, it was on uh, VHS, and I never bought it when, it went, when, I, when DVD came out. I think I just saw it at the theater and never bought it. And we were watching that. Uh, I'm just going to hang out for a minute, and then when, uh, when I can breed these guys again, I'm going to breed another pig. And then I'm gonna, that's my pig breeding for right now. But uh, just bear with me on this. We were watching the original, and I hadn't seen it. I'm guessing, but I want to say it was probably close to 30 years since I've seen it. I, I'm not even sure. I think I just saw it at the theater, and that was it. I, you know, I think I would, and I, it's not like I didn't like the movie. I thought it was really good. I watched, I believe, the second one and was not impressed, and I don't think I watched any of the other movies after that. And, uh, it was on, I had not seen that for years, you know, and it was really fun to watch, even with commercials. Even with probably stuff edited out of it. It's been so long since I've seen it, I honestly can't tell you. Glad to see Newman in there, being a, an asshole. And the, I think it's Richard Attenborough or something like that. He's a really accomplished English actor. And I, I'm like, oh, wow, he was in this. I forgot. Uh, he was the guy who played uh, Lord... I can't remember his name, but he played in the, the movie Elizabeth. He was like the prime minister or whatever for uh, Kate Blanchett. And, uh, you know, I was just I was just pumped on it. And I watched it, you know, and it, it was a pretty good movie about, you know, how, uh, you know, it's Jeff, Jeff Goldblum's uh, fucking line in there where he, you know, they, uh, you know, as a company, you just look at making profit. You never look at whether you should do it. And years ago, there I don't even know if he's still alive, but there was a guy, he always had an article in uh, one of the PC magazines, and he was talking about, there was a coffee pot maker, I think it was real, I, I don't think he was using it as a, as a, a, a thing, but there was like a coffee pot that you could email or you could connect to online like so when you're leaving the office you know you had to have a cup of coffee the minute you walked in the door had to be fresh had to be hot um you could email this thing or trigger it online and it would turn on over the internet so then when you got there you know your coffee would be done you know, so you could set it all up before you leave get the water and it get the uh filter and it get the coffee grounds in it and uh I think he called it Mr. Get a Life, and he and he. I, I think it was a real thing, but this was like probably 30, 30 years ago. It was in the nineties, and he was talking about that same thing then, that you know these people, like these engineers, that are that are making this stuff. They only look at what's possible. They they don't actually look at is it a good idea, or do, and it was a lot of these startups. They did not have the people in place that would look at that and say, yeah, that's a bad idea. And then, you know, uh, 
Uh, I had a family member that worked at Penny's, J.C. Penny's, uh, until they closed. Uh, I think they, I think they got let go of the severance package like six months before they closed the store, or a year before they closed the store. And I think, the, I think her boss did that because she was actually pretty helpful to him over the years, and and the previous store managers. I thought they were being dicks at first. And then when I realized the store had closed, I'm like, oh, wow, they gave her a severance package. Most of the other people didn't, you know. So I'm like, well, okay, it could have been worse, I guess. And uh, But they had a person. That was their job. Uh, corporate would decide what they were going to sell at that store, and they had a local person who made all the changes. They said, you know, because they knew our area. They're like, yeah, people aren't going to buy this. People aren't going to buy that. And they would find things that locally they would buy. Well, I think firing her or eliminating, they didn't fire her because she did something wrong, but I think they eliminated her position. I think that was large in part why the store finally closed. Because after she left, they brought in this high-priced fucking shit that hardly anybody bought. You know, in, in, in the town I grew up in... Spending 80 bucks for a sweatshirt is just not something that most people are going to do. Even the ones that can afford it, they're not going to spend that much. They're, they're just not. And then I made out, you know, back in the day, because when uh, Black Friday came, they would have all this really good stuff. I mean, just marked down to where it was like 50, 60, 70, 80% off. Coats the same way. And, that, and I didn't buy sweatshirts or coats, until, at least not from that store, until the end of the year. And I would go in there on Black Friday, and if it was marked down enough, then I'd buy it. They were brand new, never been worn. Um, but I, and, and, and that's something that, you know, Jeff uh, Goldblum's character got into. He's like, well, you, don't, you didn't think about whether this was safe. You didn't think about whether this was needed. You just did it so you could make some money. And it was a fucking disaster. And I was thinking today, because I'm watching Morning Joe right now, I turn that on when I get up to feed the cats, and sometimes I fall back asleep, and then sometimes I don't. And then I, I you know, I get online for a couple hours, because I usually can't play later in the day after I've been busy. And so I, I do, and I've gotten to where I'm, like, streaming with you here now. And the thing I wonder is if they were showing that Jurassic Park, you know, because of Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter, because... I, and I just, I'm, I know, bear with me on this, but when I look at it, you have, you know, the dinosaurs, you know, the, the owner, the rich guy, befriended these dinosaurs. He brought them back to life, and then they just fucking killed people and destroyed everything. And I'm wondering if they, you know, they, they were looking at, you know, Elon Musk, and, you know, and it was kind of a, a nod to what he's doing, because, you know, he bought Twitter... And everybody, even when he first started talking about buying Twitter, oh boy, you had all these fucking right-wing nut jobs and you fucking got a fucking three-inch heart on and were bragging about it on the internet. Because they're like, oh, he's going to bring Trump back. He's going to bring back all the other fucking horrible Republicans that got banned. He's going to fucking own the libs, them woke motherfucker. You know, I mean, it's just, just the shit that was going on. Well... Since he's taken over, GM and other country companies have like suspended or outright canceled their ads with Twitter. They're not doing ads anymore. And it's like, whoa. And there's other ones, other companies, and the, these companies, I think, spend a fair amount on Twitter. And they've said, hey, if you bring back these people that were banned... We're gone. We're not going to be advertising on you anymore. And I think there have been, just based on activity, I think there have been a lot of people that have left. I've, I've personally started up a, a tribal account. It's a, it's, an, it's a competitor to it. And one of the guys who originally created Twitter, who I don't think worked for him anymore, he just launched, I think it was the day after they announced uh, Elon Musk had taken over, he launched an alpha for a competitor to Twitter. And I got a feeling that if, you know, if something else doesn't replace Twitter, I got a feeling that probably will. And so Elon Musk and everybody else that invested in it, 
uh, they may end up getting screwed over like the people that invested in Trump's true social. Because, you know, he's already talking about charging like a membership fee uh, for some extra features and people will have to pay so much a month if they want their blue check and the extra features. And there's a lot of these people like, we're not paying. You know, we'll, you know, Stephen King already said, if he starts trying to charge me for anything I've currently got or anything he wants to add, he goes, I'll be gone like Enron. And, and this, and this is the thing, you know, it's, it's like, the, and again, I, I just thought of it this morning when they were talking about Elon Musk and everything going on. But, you know, he's starting to sound like that CEO in Jurassic where he's got all these hopes and dreams. And then as the shit starts to go to hell, he just doesn't know what to fucking say. And at the end of the movie, uh, that one that one uh, scientist goes, yeah, I, I just have to let you know, after considering your uh, park, I can't endorse it. And the, and the guy who built Dre's like, yeah, I can't either. And they were running to get away from the dinosaurs. And I really wonder if that's going to end up happening to Elon Musk because, you know, this is a guy, he initially said, you know, oh, free speech and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And now they were just saying that somebody met with him and he has, he told them that he wasn't going to let any of the banned people back on until after the election. He said he's not going to change the content policies until he gets... Something like what I guess uh, Facebook has. It'll be like a board that'll be in charge of this. And uh, so it's not looking good for the Republicans. I And I, I don't know if they're going to turn on him. And he's come out and said that he's really not a fan of Trump. He doesn't, you know, he's not really a fan of Trump. He likes DeSantis more. And, but... You know, he said one thing before, then as soon as he bought it, he started saying, well, you know, we can't have this and we can't have that. And so it's like rolling disclosure. It's like a rolling plan. I don't know if it's true or not, but somebody said he had talked about like a $5 uh, fee a month for that blue check. Then he said, then he officially said something. I think it was, and again, I'm going by what was reporting. I really don't know. But then he said something about how it was going to be 20 bucks a month. Stephen King basically said, well, if it's, you know, if I got to pay 240 a year for that blue check, I'll be gone like Enron. Well, then he started negotiating with him on uh, Twitter, like, well, how about eight bucks a month? And it sounds like that's what it is. That's what it's going to be. And it's just like, oh, my God, this... This is not how a billion dollar business is supposed to negotiate like with rumors and gossip and and fucking chats. That this is not how a I mean it's just um it's just not good but it's like it just it dawned on me today that you know hey what's going on with uh Elon Musk and Twitter? It it's really not that indifferent to the Jurassic Park that I was watching over the weekend because you know the dinosaurs are the mega people. The uh, th this one here can jump four, and I want this over here to help elevate these guys. What I'm gonna do now again, if the if the glitch that's now in here screws up my uh, screws up my emerald farm, I am gonna go into peaceful. And